this on. Life sucks, and then you die. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What's Wrong With Wrestling Smackdown Edition. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with my brother Joe Pisano. Not enough flair. We got a lot of flair on Monday. Yeah. Here's Friday. He's there. And like, not flair. But like, he's, in no the, flair. he's in the ring with eight other guys. Right. So it's like, shit. You have to let them talk, unfortunately. I, do you, though? Do you? Well, they do. Do you have to let, like, Shorty G talk? No. Ali, does no. he have to talk? No. Does Roman Reigns have to talk? Definitely not. <laughs> and I'm okay with Hogan promoting his team. Then let Flair promote his team. There's way too many people in the ring. Too many. And I don't love... I, look, you, you have guys that just can't make it as faces. And Miz is one of them. No. This this <laughs> yeah. version of Miz really pisses me off. And what is he doing? He's not fighting. He's not doing anything. He's not fighting anyone. He's a host now. He's, He's a host. All he does is host Miz TV now. Yeah. He has no... Uh, it's his only job. He no hosts aspirations. a bad show. On he doesn't Sunday. even want to be champion of anything. No. He just wants to host Miz TV and have his Miz and Mrs. show. I guess. That's he is enough. the ultimate company guy. He really is. You know? But he was like, a Road Rules MTV douche mm -hmm. who got a shot. It was horrible early on. Yeah. And uh, put in the work. Put in the time. Who's left? Mike Mizanin? Yeah, all right. Put him in. <laughs> Make him the champ. Give him a douchey haircut. Make him and... the WWE champion. <laughs> Where it's like, at the time, it was like, he's not ready. Like, now, you know, the last couple of years as a heel, he's been so good. Sure. They could have groomed him. Right. But, but again, face. once again, just like last week. Because he has a TV show. Just like last week, did anything really happen on SmackDown? No. Not really. And then even further along, anything as far as Crown Jewel? No. Braun beat up Gulak again? This is supposed to be <laughs> rooting for him? Now he's definitely going to beat Tyson Fury. Yeah, exactly. Everyone likes Gulak. That's what like Vince doesn't understand. No. Have him squash Gulak. But everyone likes him. No, yeah. This it's is going to make everyone Braun. hate Braun. Plus, he's so big, you can't just have him go beat people up because they said not nice things about you. Yeah. That makes him a bully. Yeah. He's, he's a, total a heel. face bully? He's a total heel. It doesn't make any sense. So that didn't make sense. There's no real, like, are you more excited? Right. Like, for Crown Jewel? Definitely. After a six-man tag? No. Is Cesaro so. in this match? No. Nope. No, he's fighting Mansoor. Right. He's, getting his, he's giving Mansoor his second win of the year. When was the last time we even saw Mansoor? Saudi Arabia. And then, like, well, like a random episode of NXT. I mean, saw him, like, just saw him. He was on a random episode of NXT where he lost. I don't even remember to who. Yeah, he lost. Damian Priest, maybe? Yeah, probably. And then that's it. Yeah. Like, just, just stay in Saudi Arabia. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Two shows a year. You might as well. You're the Brock Lesnar of Saudi Arabia. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. The problem is he has no gimmick, and his name is Mansoor. And they already have Ali. It's like the yeah. same gimmick. Right. Make it a different they gimmick. Look, they look the same. Like they, they look the they, same, they look, same hair. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, Eric, uh, Eric Slamilton is in Detroit right now yeah. for whatever reason. Yes. To see some concerts, go to a concert or something like that. Uh, you know. You can see it on his Instagram. But he to did. their own. He did, <laughs> he did just text us a very funny meme. It like says, moments ago. Yeah. Uh, th this just in. Yeah. It says uh, WWE announces pay per view in Saudi. And then it says retired wrestlers slash part timers slash MMA fighters, and it's the part in Endgame where like everyone's running at each other at the end. <laughs> right, that's pretty good. That's good. That's gonna definitely be a meme of the week on the website. There you go. Uh, yeah. So before we get into all the shit on SmackDown, we gotta thank six new patrons. More. You want to do the honors? More. Yeah. It's pretty easy this week. Matt D'Amico, Mark Link. Alan Dick. Dick. Joe S. Good name. <laughs> and Mike McNasty. Yes. Name of the week. Yeah. Like Shasta McNasty. Yes. But Mike McNasty. That is right. So if you want to be like those six people who just joined, or you want to be like the uh, 700 something people who have joined, because it's been over 700 people are, are on Patreon, Patreon right now. That's how many we have right now. Wow. 
So go to patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. Uh, that's where the Wednesday Night War podcast is. AEW versus NXT. And that's also where our review of uh, Crown Jewel will be. That's right. And you're not going to miss that one. You can't. You just can't. We might have a weird schedule next week. We'll see what happens. Yep. There's a game six. We're recording on Monday. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, we'll figure out next week when we get there. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. All right. So, like we were talking about earlier. Miz TV. SmackDown starts with Miz TV. Mm. He's got Hogan, Roman They're Reigns. They're the ring already. Shorty G, yeah. Ali. Are we, are we on? Yeah. Okay. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to... No. And again, no works. pyro to start the show. No pyro. Everyone's in the ring already. If you go back, if you go back um, to when they had pyro last, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, from what? Uh, the late 90s to 24, 2016 or something like that? 20, I'll allow it. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, the pyro at the beginning of the show was insane. Right. And they brought pyro back, but it's nothing compared to what it was. No. It's like your budget is bigger than ever. You're getting paid more than ever before. And it's like, we'll bring pyro back, but kind of. Yeah. It'll be like minimal pyro. Yeah, to start the give show. It, we'll give it to like five wrestlers total in it's, the company. It's like... And like you have all this pyro and yeah. you're getting pumped for the show. Mm-hmm. You're like, explosions. Yeah. yeah. Like, Roman has Nothing. more pyro than the show open. Correct. It's fucking ridiculous. And, like, how many wrestlers have pyro right now? Five? It's just stupid. Yeah. The pyro used to be way better. They trolled themselves with the whole Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins thing. Do we yeah. have pyro? No. Only one to find out, bro. <laughs> no, no, we don't. No. No, no. Neither does anyone no. else. Most people don't. That's like saying, hey, are you going to use tables this match? I don't Only know. Only one way to find out. And then you don't use tables? Right. What? Yeah. You can't do that. Tease. It's like if it's like if I said Joe, and you said what, and I said get the tables, and then you didn't. Right. Be like, what an asshole. Like, why aren't you getting the tables? So yeah, again we got Hogan, Roman, Shorty G, Ali on one side, and then Ric Flair, Nakamura, Sami Zayn, and King Corbin on the other side. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're missing f- uh, three guys from Flair's team and two guys from Hogan's team because yeah. they're all on uh, Raw. Right. And we can't do wild cards. Apparently, we can't do wild cards, but I guess we'll see what happens later on the show. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Right. So Hogan does his whole what you going to do thing, brother, and he basically just says what he always says. And then Flair does his thing, but he's a little confused. Well, what exists? Uh, I don't know. Coexist. <laughs> the two of you. But he goes. Give one of the He literally. If he goes, you got the big dog with you, Randy Orton. And then Flair's inner monologue. Oh no, Orton's not here. Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> he just says Randy Orton in the middle of his sentence. Maybe it was good they didn't give him the microphone that much. <laughs> Tonight, I am regular Rick. <laughs> They didn't give me enough cocaine. Where are we, Cleveland? Yeah. Cleveland, Kansas City, wherever we are. I know where I'm at. <laughs> so then after that, everyone else takes turns insulting each other. But yeah. then Hogan proposes a six-man tag for the main event because he's the guest GM. Uh, but Sammy says he tweaked his shoulder. Right. So out comes Cesaro For to a take minute, I'm place. like, oh, Sammy Zayn. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to wrestle. Yeah, throw him in a match once in a while. Nope. No. Legit injured or just... Trying to stick to the gimmick. I haven't heard anything about him being injured. So, so weird. He's like he's like a good worker. Maybe they're saving it for some big tells a nice return story. to the ring. He I definitely guess. is one of the best in the I ring. Uh, maybe him and Nakamura are going to have this fantastic match at WrestleMania or something. Goddamn. <laughs> Who's the this, face? Yeah, right. So, uh, yeah, he tweaks his shoulder, he says. So Cesaro comes out and takes his place. And it's yeah. like, what does Cesaro have to do with any of this? Uh, and then they have a brawl, and Team Hogan stands tall. So it's like, okay, well, they already fought. Do we really have to have this again? Nope. Do we really need two of these things? Right. Uh, but next up, we have the New Day versus Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. Yeah. This is another pointless match. It's just to hype the the World Cup to decide who the best tag team is. But there's like 10 tag teams in the tournament. And they and they defined, you know, we now know it is a tr- true turmoil. I mean, how many teams are in this thing? 20? 
uh, like 12? Know, yeah, 15? something like that. Yeah. And it's a it's two start. Yeah. One gets eliminated, another one comes out. This is going to take an hour. Did they officially say that? They did. Okay. They did. I bet it'll take 30 minutes. That's going to be quick pins yeah. of, well, of teams like New Day. You have the B team. Yeah, but Revival. Lucha House Party. War Machine. Uh, War Raiders. Hold on. I could name a jobber tag team for every legit tag team you <laughs> Ryder name. Ryder Hawkins. <laughs> yeah, Ryder Hawkins. <laughs> See, uh, for every good tag team, there's a bullshit tag team. And AOP's not in it. Because they don't want them to lose, I guess. I still think at the last minute, the War Raiders don't fight in it. Really? The Viking Raiders. Why? Why not? Who needs to win it? I don't know. To Why give it to they? them it would be a waste. I think this whole say, thing is a waste. What is this? But they have to. What win is them, this? Right? The best in the world of all time with Shane McMahon. <laughs> this is bullshit. This, this true. What, this whole thing is a waste. Jerry, what? Why? Um, so they have to win it then because they're undefeated. Yes, of course. Of course, it's the War Raiders. They have to win it. That's it's the why Viking Raiders. The Viking War Machine Raiders. That's why AOPs are in it because they can't vote to lose and they don't want them to win. Or maybe there'll be a last minute uh, entry, the a- uh, AOP, and they'll beat the Viking Raiders. Oh, wow. That'd be good, right? Yeah, because it's not for the titles, then they'll start their feud. Or like what I originally said, the Hardy Boys return. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At Saudi Mania. I don't know. Jeff just got they just done. Yeah. They should have just done a tag team turmoil and not announced any teams. So yeah. it was a mystery who's coming out of the back every time. Sure. That would have been better. Sure, why not? Yeah. So uh, Xavier Woods did, they announced that he did officially tear his Achilles. Damn. Which is like a year. He's out for a year it pretty used much. To be. I mean, I don't know what pro wrestling standards compared to NFL standards are, but it's a long injury. Yeah. So uh, Biggie and Kofi FaceTimed him on Skype backstage or, or just FaceTimed him on you know their iPad. Like they were walking backstage and Woods was like laying on his bed. Yeah. That's kind of funny. But uh, this match, they start the match, it goes a commercial, and then when they come back, Ziggler rolls up Kofi for the win. Like, we probably saw three minutes of action. Right. And then it's like, the match starts with 60 seconds of it. We go to commercial for five minutes. Then we come back and Dolph wins. A weird, a weird quick win. Yeah. For a Kofi who was, like, healthy. Kofi, he wasn't beat who up. was just the WWE champion for six months. Yeah. And beat Ziggler in multiple matches for that title. <clears throat> right. And now he's just losing. I like the surprise of it that anything can happen, but it's still a fucking roll up. Really? Another fucking roll up. Another. They were like, which match was it that seemed like it was a roll up match? Was it Nikki versus um, Mandy? Mandy? I was like, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up. You're like, is this literally a roll up match? Like, you have to roll your opponent up to win? Yeah. Uh, so, a lot of roll-ups. so after this, the revival come out and attack the new day, and then heavy machinery comes out for the save, and they throw all the bad guys out of the ring. So there you go. Yeah. Really means nothing. Backstage, we see Kane Velasquez talking to uh, Rey Mysterio and his son Dominic. Wild card. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, maybe he's just backstage. Fine. Invited guest, maybe. He maybe just backstage. We'll, we'll uh, let, let's keep going. Yeah. Next up, we have Lacey Evans versus Jobber Cameron Connors. Just a random Jobber. Yeah. Uh, Evans cuts a promo before the match, confirming that she's still a heel, despite being <laughs> despite being Natalia's tag team partner I'm, last I'm, week. I'm still a heel, y'all. Yeah. Lacey says she doesn't want to compete against this nasty and this cow town. Uh, so the bell rings and Lacey leaves the ring and starts walking away. The ref gets to nine, and the jobber starts celebrating because she thinks she's about to win by count out. Uh, but then Lacey quickly gets back in the ring and hits her with the woman's right for the win. Yep. If you didn't see this coming, uh, you probably just started watching wrestling. Uh, yes. <laughs> that was clear. I mean, I liked Lacey Evans on the mic. She's she always a pretty been good, good on job the mic. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She did a good job selling this whole thing and making it. This is probably... This might be our best moment. I don't know. This whole thing was <laughs> it was fun. It's tricking a a random jobber. If that's the best loss. moment, then this re- that's really sad. Yeah. Next up, Michael Cole interviews Nikki Cross. You might think, uh, is Nikki not here this week? Right. No, she's there. He's on the commentary table, and she's backstage. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Why do you have to do the split screen interview? Why not just let her do a promo in the ring? Why not just interview her in the ring? He interviewed... Why are we uh, involving Michael Cole at all? He interviewed Daniel Bryan in the ring later. Right. 
So I always hate this because it just seems so stupid. Why would you ever do this? That there's no need for it. It's not like Nikki Cross. It's not like she's stone cold on Skype, right? Or Hogan on Skype, or anyone on Skype. Yes. So Nikki just says she's excited to be the number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship. She has to face Mandy Rose tonight, but says this isn't a beauty contest. This is Friday Night SmackDown, and that's how the interview ends. That's it. Completely pointless. Yeah. No point to it at all. Next up, we have a new episode of Firefly Funhouse. Looks like Bray rebuilt the whole thing. Yeah, sure. And he's holding a funeral for Rambling mm-hmm. Rabbit, who died in the fire, started by Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. So, Seth, you you murdered an innocent puppet. puppet. He's, a, he's a good guy? Uh, he's a good guy? I don't know. And he interviewed everyone's, like, everyone's favorites, Rambling Rabbit, right? He was my, he's my favorite. Clearly. So, Bray opens the coffin... <laughs> Rambling Rabbit's like half of his face is burned off. <laughs> it's awesome. It was like disturbing, even for a puppet. It was like, oh my god, Jesus! And then he uh, he kisses Rambling Rabbit, and he magically comes back to life. Bray's really happy. He's excited. But then we see Mercy the Buzzard is already eating him. Yeah. So Bray's <laughs> like, oh Mercy. <laughs> see it, Crown Jewel. Yeah. Try to guess the horrible ending to that match. I don't know. It can't end. Do we have? I There'll have to, be no ending. We have to put something in the. In the prediction sheet to be like, just like write in, give me a crazy ending. Just like the craziest ending you can think of. Yeah, right. Like the stupidest thing. And you, you, if you guess it, you win. <laughs> Everything. Might as well. <laughs> it's worth 100 points. <laughs> Eric, yeah. still, Eric gets it right, still loses by three. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, next up we got Drew Gulak versus Kalisto. Kappa Gulak. Uh, Gulak grabs the mic because he wants to complete his PowerPoint presentation from last week, except now it's 345 ways Braun Strowman can lose a Tyson Fury. Of course, Kalisto attacks Gulak on the first slide. That damn heel. And then Braun comes out during the match, which distracts Gulak, and Kalisto hits the Selena Del Sol for the win. Braun then gets in the ring, gives Gulak a running power slam. The fans chant one more because they're assholes, and he gives him another (laughs) power slam. And then he gets on the mic and says Tyson Fury is going to get these hands. The timing of Gulak's thing was awful. Yeah. He goes, all right, slide one. It says one of three, 345. He goes, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so here you can, nothing changed. <laughs> right. Here you can see blah, 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 blah. Okay, slide two. Kalisto hit me. Kalisto hit me. <laughs> hit me. Yeah. Kalisto hit me. Kalisto. Kalisto. Dude, are you the guy? And then he fucking hits him. <laughs> like, why so much time? It needs to be boom, boom. Right. Boom, boom. Two hour show. They Didn't must have, have both thought that a slide, another slide was coming. I guess. Something. They're both like, huh? Yeah. Uh. So, yeah, you're going to get these hands. I'm going to send you back where you belong. Yeah. Where is that? The UK? Uh, yeah. Where is he from? All right. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. Next up, we have... No, yeah, he is in the UK. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Because uh, a few of our UK fans were like, well, Tyson Fury is a big deal here. Yeah. So we're like, all right, fair enough. Uh, next up, we have Michael Cole interviewing Daniel Bryan in the ring. He asks Daniel, is the Yes Movement back? But before Daniel can respond, he's interrupted by Nakamura and Sami Zayn. Sami tosses the Titan Tron to show a promo from Daniel Bryan back in November of 2018 when he first turned heel. One year ago today. And uh, he says the Yes Movement is dead. And Sammy tells Daniel, that's the real Daniel Bryan. And right. hey, I'm a vegan just like you. And Nakamura cares about the planet just like you. Yep. And then Sammy asks Daniel to join the dark side. And he holds out his hands. Daniel thinks about it. But then he just walks past them and leaves. That's it. Again, he's, he's being silent. No beating anyone up. No Yes chant. Yeah. No, nothing. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Right. <laughs> There's no reason to not complete this whole storyline right now. Yeah. Just complete it. Let's move on. Yeah. There, there must be like no one's watching tonight. It's on FS1, the World Series. We can't we can't do anything tonight. No, that's probably true. Although, by the way, did yours automatically record? No. Mine did not. Yeah. I had to go back uh, and look at an app and find me the too. first like 15 minutes. Yeah, me too. I missed the first five minutes. I'll, like, I turned it on and then like Flair, oh, Flair's yelling at Hogan. Orton! <laughs> That's the first thing I saw. Uh, Orton. <laughs> Have you seen Orton? Yeah. Next up, we got Nikki Cross versus Mandy Rose with Sony Deville ringside and Sasha Banks and Bailey on commentary. Bailey was incredibly boring. On commentary. Michael, give you give you a Bailey a kiss. Give me, give me. Come on, Michael. Michael, I just want 
on you, little gay. <laughs> Aunt Bailey is here to stay. But she didn't, like, she barely talks. I, I, okay. <laughs> One little gay on my lip. Yes, yeah, right near the hair. When so is, uh, <laughs> when's Bill and Ted 3 coming out? <laughs> oh, my God. They're filming right, right now. Oh, it's so disgusting. Yeah, that's from Bill and Ted 2. Yeah. Bogus Journey. I uh, I don't remember. You know, we had an aunt on dad's side that was like that. Had a big mole with like 70 hairs oh. coming out of it. Giant <laughs> on her face. And she was always like, give me a kiss. And was this we, before I was born? You know, you were probably really young. And we would just run away crying and screaming. It was dad's aunt. You know, like dad's cousin. Okay. Dad's aunt. Yeah. Maybe. Right. And then... Uh, you know, on mom's side, I had Aunt Teresa. Yeah. Who was like 10 years older than me. And uh, <laughs> very good looking. Okay. So. Um, we're recording. Anyway. Uh, all oh, right. So oh. as for the match, yeah, uh, Mandy throws Nikki out of the ring and Sonya gives her a punch to the face while Mandy distracts the ref. Yeah. But in the end, Nikki wins with the swinging neck breaker. Where's Alexa? Where is Alexa Bliss? She's on tour. She got uh, traded. Promoting, I know, a huge trade. Yes. Blockbuster. Blockbuster trade. Yeah. They don't put her on the show. I guess this is her time off. What? Give her two weeks off or something? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I have no answers for you why the, the, the best female on the show is not there. <laughs> in terms know. of gorgeousness, in terms of acting, uh, everything. And Nikki best doesn't character. even say anything like, where's Alexa? Like No. Okay, I thought right. they were best friends. Next up, we have Cain Velasquez and Rey Mysterio come out to the ring. And earlier in the night, Michael Cole hyped the face to face. And take a listen to what he said. WWE champion Brock Lesnar gets an opportunity to avenge perhaps the worst loss of his MMA career. But first tonight, Brock goes face to face with that demon. And he goes to the ring and he takes on Cain Velasquez. The demon. I did not catch that. The demon Cain Velasquez. No, Michael. No. Are you a fucking idiot, Michael? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I already know that. Yes, you are. You think he fucked up? Yeah. Because he heard, he thought Kane in his, in his brain? <clears throat> yeah. Why would you say that? Like, it's, he said that. You can't unsay that. Yeah. His name is now the Demon Kane Velasquez. Yeah. He's a demon. Yeah. Why? Did he try to burn someone on a stake? I'm going to Google and Did see. Did he try it. to murder thousands? Yeah. Or let's, is he just a nice see. friend of Ray's? Demon. Let's see. I don't see anything about his nickname being the demon. No. No, he fucked up because we have a demon cane. Cane. Yeah. But I mean, maybe cane, maybe cane. they called him demon in UFC. I don't see anything no. like that on the internet. You can stop looking. You're not going to find anything. <laughs> <laughs> With the demon cane, Velasquez. The demon. What the fuck? I mean, really? How when Kane was on the show like what four weeks ago or something like that? He was all right. Uh, so Rey Mysterio does the talking for Velasquez. He says, My son's getting better, and one day he will step in the ring as a WWE superstar. As for Brock, Kane is gonna make you pay for what you did to my son. Uh, so come out out here, let's get this face to face over with. And Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman appear on the Titan Tron, and they reveal that Brock has once again beaten up Dominic. And then Velasquez and Mysterio run to the back. Why did you leave him all alone back there? I don't know. Are you fucking stupid? Mm, right. Why is he just hanging out? Why, why is does he there? He, why doesn't he have security with does him? he travel with his dad? He's not a superstar. I don't know. Hey, dad, I'm a grown man. Can I travel with you everywhere you go? Yeah. So uh, after the commercial, Mysterio and Velasquez are checking on Dominic in the trainer's room. He's laying on a table. <laughs> and then Brock shows up with a trash can. <laughs> And, uh, and attacks both of them. He F5s Ray into a wall, and then he F5s Velasquez on top of Dominic. That was awesome. I thought, yeah. That was like the only... And Velasquez fell off the table like immediately. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. I mean, I was laughing because it was so funny. Like just, But I, I, uh, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Because like, okay, we don't want Brock to be the champion because we're so tired of the part-time champion bullshit. Uh, but if we have to choose between him or Cain Velasquez, I'm choosing Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Can't just show up and take the title. Yeah. Even Rousey was like, I don't want to do it that way. 
I want to earn it. You don't just show up and win the title. <sighs> yeah. Um, I'm just getting nervous. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I mean, he's not losing. If, if he lose, if anything, it'll be a DQ finish. I think it'll be a DQ finish. You you can't have him just beat Cain Velasquez. Not after this hype. No, because you're buried. He'll, he'll lose by DQ. He'll yeah. kick him in the balls. You know, what he always fucking do. So uh, after the at, later in the show, uh, Velasquez had this to say. Fuck! The way of my dad. The way of my dad, Brock. Ray, te prometo. Way of my dad, I said way. Brock, the way of my dad. <laughs> like that at the end. Now they do. Uh, know this is an English speaking channel. But wait a minute, Don. Four times mean? he said that. What does that mean? I don't know. Mm. I need to know. Yeah. Should have Googled it. Although I don't even know the way of Matar. The way of Matar. The way of Matar. No, Matar. that's not what he said. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you hit enter. Creamy Matar. It's soup. <laughs> the way Brock! of Matar. Soup! <laughs> soup! <laughs> Ray Soup! <laughs> Super Brock. <laughs> uh, the no way I'm a matar. I don't know. I should have asked someone. Yeah, I know a lot of people that speak Spanish. So, um, yeah, that was stupid. Don't yeah. know what he was saying, that and was dumb. at least he tried. Jesus. Yeah. So then, uh, finally, we have the six man tag: Nakamura, King Corbin, and Cesaro versus Roman Reigns, Shorty G, and Ali. Right. With Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Jimmy Hart, and Sami Zayn ringside. There are almost as many people ringside. <laughs> as in the match. Big match feel. Oh, yeah. Big match feel. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, we're not. Uh, the crowd did like it. Um, it wasn't a bad match. It was actually pretty good. There were a lot of spots. Yeah, I liked how they gave Cesaro like a lot of props. Yeah. Like they wouldn't let Roman just beat up Cesaro. Yeah. It was like manhandling him. Right. But uh, in the end, Roman hits Cesaro with the spear. He tags in Ali, who hits the 450 splash for the win. Yeah. So, so look, Roman's not being selfish. Corey was like, oh, Roman sharing the spotlight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but that's how it ends, with the real Americans yeah. uh, celebrating in the ring. Mm, mm, mm. Or the real Saudi Arabians, whatever, you know, whatever they're going to. Saudi gonna... Arabian. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's all for SmackDown. Let's get to some awards. Who'd you have for worst dressed? Shorty G. Why? He was like neon Superman. Oh, yeah, that's what I had, Shorty G. Yeah. Yeah. The weird green arms. Just... Someone said he looked like uh, a member of um, uh, um, Space Jam, like their outfits. Oh, really? From Space Jam, like their sure. basketball outfits. Yeah. He did. He looked like a basketball player. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I had Shorty G as well, of course. Best dressed? Lacey Evans. Okay, I went with Sasha Banks. Yeah, she's in good. Leopard, mm. fucking Leopard. Worst acting, Bailey. I had Bailey as well. <laughs> if it wasn't Bailey, I'd pick Kane. But at least Kane tried. Yeah. At least he was yelling in in Spanish. Like Bailey was just like waiting for Sasha to take over the inter- like to take over on commentary. It's like, no, you're the champ, not her. You have to talk, Bailey. Yeah. And even when she did, you could barely hear her because she's talking so softly. Yeah. She's like, Corey used to make fun. Uh, best acting. Uh, I put Sami Zayn. Yeah, I mean, he was the only one that <clears throat> did anything. Yeah. Hogan yeah. just said, what you going to do? Right. Flair thought Orton was there and he wasn't. Right. <laughs> Worst comment. I had Cole saying the Demon Kane. I mean, what the fuck? Um, Fucking retarded. Yeah. When he was interviewing Nikki Cross... He starts talking. She goes, hi, Michael Cole. And then he goes, yeah. Anyways, uh, Nikki, like, Michael, you're not cooler than Nikki Cross. No. She's being nice. Don't be a douche. You're a fucking loser. You're the biggest nerd in the company. Right. Like Shorty G, they've they've tried to make the biggest nerdy wrestler. Right. But you're still nerdier than him. You got him beat, pal. the biggest loser ever. Put that weird wrestling outfit back on and get in the ring. (laughs) Yes. So you can make fun of you. Uh, Best comments. Uh, Zane said something about like he was talking to Daniel Bryan about being a vegan. He goes, "Look, bro, factory farming makes me sick as well." <laughs> that was funny. Okay, I'll go with that. Yeah, because I didn't really hear anything else that I liked. Yeah. Worst match. Gulak and uh, Gabagulak and uh, Kalisto. Yes. Yeah. 
Super slow mo. Nikki Mandy. Yes. Okay. Best match. I don't know. The main event, I guess. Yeah, if you had yeah. to pick one. Yeah. It was it was good. It was just it should not end the show like you know like they always do end it with some bullshit. Right. But it was a good match. Mm-hmm. Worst move. When Roman got the hot tag in that match, he goes and grabs Cesaro to whip him against the ropes. Cesaro changes it. Mm-hmm. Roman then goes against the ropes, comes back, jumps in the air. Cesaro just moves out of the way and he lands. And they look at each other. And then Cesaro gets behind him. Like, something happened there. Yeah. A little uh, miscommunication. I had uh, Dolph's roll up, because why? Yeah. I mean, why even have that match? Sure. Best move? f 5 in Kane on to Dominic. Okay. I had the F5, F5-ing f Ray into the wall. <laughs> yeah. And he hit the wall and he's so light, he just landed on the table. <laughs> He didn't fall on the ground. He's like, oh. yeah. Oh, this is nice. Uh, worst moment? I don't know. I had Cole interviewing so Nikki Cross. Yeah, sure. There's a lot to choose from. Uh, nothing was horrible, but at the same time, nothing was really that good either. Yeah. Best moment? The only good thing was Brock Lesner. beating up yeah. Mysterio Throwing and Throwing Kane to Dominic. Yeah, we'll that was the only good that. part. Yeah. So Even best... the Firehouse Funhouse, I just did with fucking Lord. <laughs> Even the Firefly Funhouse uh, <laughs> was not great. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Firehouse Funhouse. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I did it. Um, no, yeah. It was, it was very short, too. Very short. All right. That's all for awards. Now it's time for some breaking news. <laughs> so, you know how uh, WWE has been counter-programming AEW? Like, when they have a pay-per-view, they'll show... Uh, an evolved pay per view on the network, mm-hmm. or just like you know, AEW's like, hey, we're on Wednesdays, and then WWE's like, okay, Vince is like, all right, NXT's on TV now, yeah. Wednesday night, same time. Right. So, AEW aired a rerun episode of Dynamite tonight during SmackDown at the mm-hmm. same time. It was on, the rerun from Wednesday on TNT, on TNT, mm. yeah, right against it, mm-hmm. seven and nine, yep. So, just want to throw that out there. That'll be interesting. Interesting. I wonder... I mean, obviously, SmackDown's going to win, but it's going to be bad, horrible ratings because of the World Series. But I'd like to know the ratings. I do. I, I want to I know that. That'll be out tomorrow it afternoon. It could be like a 1.2 for SmackDown. What was SmackDown last week? That's really bad. 2.9. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was 2.3. Right. It went down. <laughs> 1.5. Maybe. At the most. And what would a rerun of AEW get? Think about it. If I wasn't paying attention, it didn't record for me. Mm-hmm. Right. If that's a thing. If that's I don't a know. Thing the Nielsen people, people get DVR. Well, why didn't it record? Like, I have, a, I have a season pass for WWE SmackDown. Just because it's on a different channel. It fucked up. I don't know. Um, but I wonder what AEW's rerun would get because it got 938 on Wednesday Live. So I, don't I can't know. imagine a rerun gets more than three, four. All right, I'll look, I'll look it up tomorrow. I'm curious. Yeah. Uh, Randy Orton and The Revival are having more fun on Twitter. Of course, we know last week Orton did the whole um, elite and he tagged a bunch of people. Yeah. Well, uh, Scott Dawson tweeted a picture of himself, Dash Wilder, uh, and Orton and said what should have been. Thank you, Randy. We'll see you down the road. And then Dash Wilder retweeted and said what will be eventually. And then Orton tweeted 2020. <laughs> Jesus. Again, I think the Revival are gone, for sure. I think the Revival are going to go to AEW whenever their contract is up, which I don't really know. I think it's next year. Um, but Orton, I, I, I think he'll stay. He's a but, he'll pro- but, he'll pro- but I'm sure he'll use, he'll negotiate with them to get more money from WWE, right? Yeah. I mean, you should. Uh, I think he's like 38. Orton, by the way. He's so. got to be up there. This is a 10-year contract that he signed with WWE in 2010. Really? Yeah. Damn. So he must be like, man, I've been missing out on these new contracts. Right. You know? But he's always in the top 10 in like, money makers in the company. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is cool. I mean, there's nothing in his clause that says he can't post a picture on social media from a 2010 contract. You know right. I mean? Of course not. So I think that's pretty cool that he can get away with this. What are you going to do? Fire me? Yeah. Like, of course not. They're not going to fire him. No, they literally can't fire him right yeah. now. Yeah. Because they know where he'll show up and they'll be like, oh my God. I think he's recently said he, he only wants to wrestle for a few more years. And maybe maybe that uh, 
Maybe that could add fuel to like him going to AEW. Like, I want to wrestle new people. I keep wrestling the same fucking people in WWE. Yeah, maybe. I think he's a family guy who's going to leave in two years and never see him again. Never. Well, he'll be a guest GM, guest you know referee. I mean. Never wrestle again. A guest commentator. Sure. <laughs> you know what they do with all of them. And by <laughs> never wrestle again, I mean he'll for sure come back. I bet he doesn't. I bet he does what they're all doing now. Yeah. Like what The Undertaker does in Triple H. You don't, and Cena. You don't officially retire. Right. You just get paid a, $2 million by the Saudis right. twice a year. By the Saudis. I could wrestle once a year. Sure. Yeah. Saudi mania. Yep. Um, also, Cain Velasquez and Rey Mysterio spoke with WrestlingNews.co. Do, we, do you say co if it's co, the website? Dot co. Dot co. WrestlingNews.co and Velasquez confirmed the length of his WWE contract. We heard he signed a multi-year deal, but he said, I'll be here for the next three years for sure. For sure? He said for sure. It's a video. You can see him say it. Oh, no. It's unfortunate. (laughs) Fuck. Um, But uh, that's all the news I got. So let's move on to rumors. Rumors! Kevin Owens wins back the Universal title? Maybe! Balor Club to finally get a second member? Too sweet! Brock Lesnar willingly works a full schedule? No chance! Next year's WrestleMania will be in Saudi Arabia? Confirmed! So Fightful.com is reporting that Fox has given up on CM Punk joining WWE backstage. And in an interview, CM Punk says he hasn't heard back from Fox. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad about that. I don't want, like I said, I don't want to see CM Punk just talking about WWE. That would be fucking horrible. Yeah. Like, oh, Renee, oh, look at here. They actually had a special episode of WWE backstage after SmackDown went off the air and they interviewed <clears throat> Finn Balor in studio. Oh, really? And he said the Prince is back. I was like, oh, that was pretty cool. All right. Um, and then WrestlingNews.co is reporting that an anonymous WWE superstar told them that many WWE wrestlers are looking to jump to AEW when their contract expires. The anonymous source said, or the anonymous wrestler said, let's state the obvious. Vince is still in charge and nothing will change until he steps down and that might not happen for another 10 years or more. A lot of guys realize this and some will take the money, but some guys have a lot of money saved up and that AEW schedule looks really good. I don't know how many of us watch AEW, but I know a few guys and girls here that watch the show every week. You can't deny that their shows are great. Mm-hmm. But yeah, their schedule is once a week because they're not on the road. They don't do house shows. Right. At least right now they don't. Yeah. So that's all. Do you have any rumors? or? No, I saw something about Triple H saying that like a big star is about to make their return in oh, the really? near future. He was saying that, he keeps saying Ronda's coming back soon. Yeah. And then on Twitter, they were like teasing a DX versus DIY thing, but that was... That was just some Twitter bullshit. Yeah. Like, they, I think it had to do with WWE uh, 2K. Like, they posted a match between DIY versus DX. Right. And then Triple H was like, oh, maybe. Yeah, okay. Never know. Yeah, well, sure. true. No, but true. <laughs> you don't know anymore. The only way it would happen, though, is if it was in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So, fuck off. All right, that's all for rumors. Um, any trivia or? No, I didn't bring any today. All righty. Fan questions. This first one is from Kyle Foxton. Uh, how long before Fox tries to pull out of its contract? This is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> pull out. We don't know. See, we really don't know what the terms of this contract is. Like, if they can, we've heard that. There's got to be something where they can cancel it. I can't imagine if it's like, oh, it's getting 200,000 views. I mean, it's not going to go that low. But, like, there's got to be something where it's like we could cancel it or permanently move it to FS1. And then, like we said, FS2, it'll go to FS2, and then eventually the network, WWE Network. <laughs> I don't know. I can see Vince being powerful enough because of how big wrestling is. Like, their following is their following. The good thing about a following is if you have a show getting a, a 3 million episode rating, like, you know what I mean? Like, 3 million viewers. They would love that. You don't know if, I know. <laughs> you don't know if, like, they're really, like, super viewers or they set the TV on. Like, wrestling fans are watching wrestling. Yeah. If you want to market to wrestling fans, you can advertise on that. So I don't know if it's more about the ratings or more about we have a very specific yeah. group of individuals that you can market to that will for sure watch this show. You know what the interesting... And the, and yeah, I'll just say, the, the weird part is, I mean, how many millions of wrestling fans are there in the, in the U.S.? 
Well, How many people would label themselves I'm a wrestling fan? Uh, I would say 2.5 million. Well, I mean, that's what the but, ratings. <laughs> but each show has a different ratings. Like, like you would think there's more than two and a half million wrestling fans out of what are we up to 400 million in this? That's in this? all. The, that's all who's that's watching. Yeah, I mean, they could watch on. Uh, they could watch on digital platforms. But casually now, talking but to people, like. I don't know. Maybe it's not as much as it used to be, but like I feel like casually talking to people, at least like one out of ten says to me, "Oh yeah, I still watch wrestling." Yeah, but I think that's because of this podcast. We've run into a lot of. Uh, I just mean like talking in my normal everyday life. I I don't. I yeah. I talk to people and say I used to watch. Yeah, yeah. I have I like coworkers that are like, ah, I used to watch, not good anymore. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if you, I mean, go back to the Money That Wars where they're going like, okay, Raw's getting when Raw, when, even when WCW was winning, Nitro's winning, they would get six million, right. and then when Raw was winning, they would get six million, and the and then WCW would be getting four million. Like once that once the war was over and WWE bought WCW, like four million fans just up and stopped. And like the WCW fans who are like loyal to WCW, they're like, well, fuck this, I'm not watching WWE. I know, yeah, they That's just why left the ratings forever. Are well, I don't know. That's why it's like weird. Like the next week, they're just gone. Now I'm just gonna see their their all. Like most of the big names stayed. Well, um, not right away. I mean, I guess it not took, right away. And Sting never showed up. Right. Um, Until he was, and wow. they buried the NWO. Got rid of the NWO. Right. <laughs> um, but no, like the the interesting thing about the Nielsen ratings, at least for WWE, is like uh, every week Raw averaged right now like the two point five or whatever. But then if you look at the eighteen to forty five demographic, point nine. So like under a million viewers. That means the majority of their viewers are forty five and older. Oh God. Yeah. I joined that ranks in April. <laughs> but but that's crazy. Yeah. The the majority of their fans are not young at like they're they're over 45. Like it's I mean, you know, like and probably way older. That's these are crazy. just these are like lifelong WWE fans that still watch. So you think like how network news will be gone once the baby boomer generations are gone? Yeah. You think the wrestling will be gone? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, AEW are though, they has getting a young... new fans? I don't know. That's just, the question. No. Are they gaining new fans? No, it's Are like, they able to go get a 21-year-old and say, "Hey, you're going to watch this now?" No. There's no way. No, it's all pe- it's like religion, like you grow up with it. Right. Like my dad was a wrestling fan. And we're not I, passing it down. I'm not passing not, it down. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that to my kids. But there's like little kids, there's like 5-year-olds who are like, "My favorite wrestler is Hulk Hogan." Hulk Hogan. How would you even What? What? Oh, your, is your dad, dad just force feeding you like old WrestleMania VHSs, <laughs> right? Like, what the fuck is going on? It's yeah. so weird. That's that's all it is. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. That was the first question, by the way. All right. Uh. Wes Albright. Will Sami Zayn ever wrestle again? Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, at some point, hopefully Nakamura. I don't know. Joey Montez, favorite porn star. My friend told me to ask. It says his friend's name is Rus- Russo. Elsa Jean's kind of like the uh... Elsa Jean. I don't even know who that is. Oh no! Yes, I do. No, yes. She's like the hottest one. Yes, I do. Blondie. Uh, I like Jessa Rhodes. I think Jessa Jenna Jessa Rhodes. I think it's Jessa Rhodes. Jessica Rhodes. No, it's There's just a like Jessica Jessa. Rhodes. <laughs> it's just. There's every variation of. Ebby. Who? She also goes by another name. This Russian. She's like gorgeous in the face. Beautiful. So many. There's so many now. <laughs> it's there's so many. It's like it's hard to even remember their names. Like uh, Jessa Rhodes. Uh, you know, there's Kendra Lust. Um, there's uh, Veronica Rodriguez. There's uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, Spencer, Spencer Canover. What combination of these same ten guys are going to be fighting at Survivor Series in an elimination match right after Saudi Arabia? Q. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, probably at least half of them. Right. Carlos Ramirez, today's my birthday. Can I get Stone Cold and William Regal to wish me a happy birthday? Mm. Happy birthday. birthday, have a beer on me. And then, uh, I don't know, after that, you and me can get in the ring and uh, we can have some war games. There you go. Yeah, I was trying to, yep, yeah, you got it. 
I'm not Pop- supposed to yell anyway, so it's good that you <laughs> right. did that. Pop culture junkie, don't you think WWE is missing a great opportunity to make history? For the first time ever at, S- at Crown Jewel, there should be the first ever stoning match between Lashley and Rusev, where no matter what happens afterwards... Lana gets stoned. Uh, the Saudis get to stone Lana for being a cheating whore. Oh, my God. Wow. That is dark. Is but dark. yes, I hope... Let's but hope. Vince will try it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Vince will cast the first stone. I'm a genius. <laughs> Dashing Dan, push fire, bury these ladies who have dressed as Wonder Woman, Sasha Banks, Alexa Bliss, and Mickey James. I, what's the, I don't I don't remember the Alexa Bliss one. Neither do I. But I Sasha need, Banks. I think is, we need visual aids. I think Sasha Banks wins that one. She's looks probably. Like Let's see, Wonder Woman. Oh. Maybe he's just saying like, oh that. No, that's photoshopped. I don't see a Wonder Woman for. Maybe he's just maybe he's just asking who would be better in that costume. Well, but Mickey's done it. Sasha's done it. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I would push Sasha. Look at that, Sasha. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, fire Mickey because she's Mickey. <laughs> I don't think we've even seen Alexa in it. Uh, too bad, but whatever. I'm pushing it. I mean, I'm burying it. Okay, Jacob uh, might have already talked about this. What are your thoughts on the new Joker movie? Uh, I thought we did. I don't know. I liked it. Um, didn't feel like it was like a Joker movie, but it was a good movie. It was good, great performance by great performance by Joaquin win Phoenix. An Oscar. I mean, I, I thought it was a little slow. It didn't have to be as long as it was. Um, you can't see this guy being like the criminal mastermind that's going to go toe to toe with Batman. That's not this guy. Well, it's not happening. That's not this guy. It's not happening anyway. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, not, plus, how old is he supposed to be in the Joker? This movie? is just a single movie by itself that'll never be part of any universe, right? How old is how old is the Joker in this movie? Forty five. Okay, so he's gonna be fighting Batman when he's like sixty. Right. I know. I know. It's it's <laughs> retarded. Yeah. Ooh, Batman. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my back. Right. Right. My back. <laughs> but no, I thought the movie was good. I just didn't like uh, the only parts I didn't like was the. I mean, like the whole thing but was it wasn't he kind a Joker of, movie. He kind of lucked into like having a whole posse you know what i mean mm. like so at the end he had a bunch of people he could tell what to do because they all loved him right you know so maybe he could learn on the go but like the only part i didn't like was the incorporating the wayne family into it yeah i just thought it was Enforced. unneeded and yeah right but i like the movie um lewis worst move watching smackdown live okay yep that's that's correct that's a good one. Vladimir Jordan, is it me or does it look like uh, real fun throwing Mysterio against walls, trucks, ring posts? <laughs> He's really light. It looks great when it, he hits the wall and slides down it. Yeah. And then Isaiah, the Saudi events completely derail WWE's regularly scheduled storylines. Well, they're not really that good anyway either right now. No, they're not. And honestly, you can't really derail something that doesn't exist. <laughs> He says, as a college student with limited time, I only watch NXT and AEW now. That's a smart move. Yeah. He says, I could watch great wrestling with storylines or SmackDown where every show ends with a six-man tag and or Roman Reigns. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, man. Good move only watching NXT and AEW. And since you're on Patreon, you can uh, watch the recaps as well for AEW and NXT. Right. So there you go. Uh, But that's all for fan questions, which means that's all for the show. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast. Give us a five-star review. Check out our website, whatswrongwithwrestling.com. Like the show on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Wrong Wrestling. Get a t-shirt at prowrestlingtees.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. And just like we just said, do it. Patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling. Yeah. Be one of the hundreds mm-hmm. that are getting our bonus content. Yes. It's a thing to do. It's the end thing to do. Uh-huh. It's good stuff. And uh, if you are a Patreon... We'll see you, you know, for the AW, for the Wednesday Night War recap, and then for Saudi Mania. Yes. Yeah. That's tremendous.
Just a troll. What's wrong with wrestling? What's wrong with? 